Hi, I'm Livingston and welcome to the third episode of The Process. I'm very excited about this one because these are the images that originally inspired the idea for The Process. So without wasting any much more of your time, let's get right into it. Yo, yo, yo. you know The Process? Yeah, I'll show you. Okay. Welcome to Lightroom. And before I get into the details, just a quick history of how this picture was taken. The model is Gina, the makeup artist is a free year. On camera right, I have a continuous light, that is the Godox SL60W with a silver reflector on top. And in front of that, I have a small palm tree, and then I have a flag, which is the styrofoam all to camera right. I shot these images tethered, so it allowed me to do some presettings in Lightroom before I took it into Photoshop. So let me take you through that. So in Lightroom, my settings are 8732 in terms of the white balance. Basically, I'm making it warm and then a minus 8 on the tint. The exposure, I brought it up to plus 2, my highlights minus 12, and then my blacks minus 23. The reason why I cranked up my exposure is because based on the settings that I had in my camera, if I turn down the exposure, this is how dark the image looks like. That's because my aperture was at 5.0. My shutter speed was also 250 because I wanted to freeze everything as much as I can. I didn't want any blurriness because remember, this is a continuous light. So any mistake that you do with a slow shutter speed, this image might get blurry really quick. And because it's a continuous light and there is nothing that I wanted to go out of focus, I used the aperture of F5. I hope that helps. Now let's get into the color grading. Now in terms of color grading, like I said, I wanted a warm tone, so in my mid-tones, I took it to the orange yellowish side. The opposite of that will be the blue, and that's what I did in my highlights, just to tone down these highlights down here, and that is in the blue section. Without it, this is how it looks like, and with it, I already have most of the color grade job done. So let's jump into Photoshop and see what I did there to finalize the image. Let's go. I started with my frequency separation as usual, so that's what I used to clean uh, her skin and any other thing that I wanted out of the picture and then I did my dodge and burn and that brought back the shape of the face once again frequency separation is to even out all the areas and then dodge and burn is to bring back the shape should you have messed up the shape of the face with frequency separation ideally you shouldn't do that but keep that in mind frequency separation to even out everything and then dodge and burn to bring back the shape of the face if you've messed it up or to increase the contrast then my color adjustment my color adjustments again i'm, I'm gonna break that down it's my hue and saturation and it's really desaturated here up to minus 13 if you compare that to the previous image that was just minus 8 if i remember correctly and then my levels i don't have lots of white in there so i had to push these levels all the way to the edge of the white to kind of like blow it up just a little bit and then bring in the blacks a little bit to add more contrast to the image. So hue and saturation to desaturate my levels is to add or improve the contrast that I have on it. And then finally, this is my color toning. So this is just to bring a bit of a warmth to it. It's my default settings that I have. I already have it. It's called Blue Studio Color Correct. It's something I had from the past. Basically, this is what the color adjustment is for. So because I've done most of the work in Lightroom already when I came here, there wasn't much of color grading to do. So with my gradient map, I applied this gradient map. So it brings from brown all the way to a teal. The teal is where the whites would fall and then the brown would be more for the skin in the shadows. So left shadows, right highlights. And whatever color that you have over there is what is going to affect your final image. So if I turn that on, this is the feel that it gave me. Honestly speaking, there's no need for me to even bring you back into Lightroom because there wasn't much that I did with the exception of my cropping and adding texture. So there you have it. I hope that you enjoy this one too. Once again, you could tell that because I did most of the work in the pre-production and during the production, that is the shoot with color grading while I was shooting tethered, it made what I had to do on the bench much more simpler and easier. And from the previous ones, if you've seen them, you realize that I had less layers on this one because it was pretty straightforward for me. And that's the beauty of planning and preparing and seeing the final image in your mind's eye. When you get to the bench, it's much more easier. So I won't waste much of your time. Go and practice and enjoy that one. And I'll see you in the next episode of The Process. See ya.